sadly, we've arrived at the part of the story where we have to say goodbye to the parents. Oops. Oh. Arigato. Oh, arigato. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Today's adventure. We're going to Bangkyu in Nikko, Japan. It's actually an onsen slash resort. Minshuku, Ryokan. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Wow, that's a pretty groovy looking train. Looks like an insect. We're almost there, kiddo. Yeah. Wow, still Sanjuku mm -hmm. Ato. Yeah. Oh. Sayonara. Local vegetables. <laughs> One man cedar, huh? Yeah. For big gaijings like oh, me. Yeah. Alright, last leg. Off to the onset. Oh, this is it. Okay. Message my mom that we're here. Wow, it's beautiful. It's the famous bridge, Kasura Hashi. So Yoko-san, when you lived here, mm -hmm. you were able to come here anytime because you were local, right? Yeah. And just play? We came here for a hot spring and basically just run around, you know, out in Pond River. I'm extremely lucky to be able to come here today. Because unless you're Japanese, you're not going to be able to navigate to get here if you're just a regular tourist, unless you know somebody, like I do. <laughs> this is like the hardcore Japan that you really want to see when you come. Wow. How cool is this place, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this place is the real deal. When would it have been built? Apparently 1662. Six, so it's over 350 years old. Wow. There were two big samurai clans back in 12th century. One is called Heishu, the other one was called Genju. This village was basically the survivors of Heishu after they fought over 200 years. Finally, after the last battle, Heishu lost, and whoever survived ran to this village. It's located in the middle of the mountain. So they started a village hiding from Genji and that's the beginning of this village. So how did your grandfather get involved? Apparently he saw a business opportunity in this village. He was an architect and he built many bridges and water dams, basically contributed himself to the infrastructure of this village. Hina Ningyo. Let's go check out the onsen. Ladies only. Look at this beauty. You look ravishing, darling. It's cushy. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna go to the bridge. Excito. Oh. Wow. This is their tree, Yuzu Sake. So let's toast. I don't mind if I do. Ready? 
乾杯,乾杯お疲れ様お疲れ様ですうん This is quite the spread. Beautiful skin sake. And you can eat it later on the plate. I don't know what's going in. <laughs> mm. So I'm interested to know, how does it feel to come back as an adult to the village? I definitely see more stuff as an adult. For example, culture, people, art, including music. And I could appreciate them more compared to the time I was just running around naked mm -hmm. in the river and, just, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's a special place to me for sure. Gonna go check out the village. Yeah. Where are we going? We're gonna stroll around this downtown. Downtown. Perfect day to go sightseeing. As a young girl, this would have been your playground when you came here, right? Yeah. You practice Shishimai here? What is shishimai? Right there. Uh, shishimai is an imaginary animal people used to believe that's the shape of a lion. So shishi, mai is the dance. And yeah, it's like intangible heritage for summer festival. Wow, the air smells so good. So how big was the bear that you used to play with? When I was a kid? Yeah, which one? Uh, like half the size of this one. Okay. Yeah, it was a cub. Mikoshi eventually comes all the way here from the other shrine we went early this morning. 1200 year old oak. Seems as though we may have lost, we missed the bus. Seems as though there's the bus right there. And we got worried for nothing. There's the bus. Well, that was so fun. Let's go back. Yeah, next time we should probably go around your birthday. Mid August, there is a summer festival called Heike Taisai. Mm. And maybe you can please, please let me wear the Shishimai or Samurai armor. It's heavy though. I want to dress up in Samurai. <laughs>